Hi everyone, I am back with a season 3 review of Upload. So, all the episodes uh, uh, came out uh, this last week. Uh, <clears throat> there were only two episodes left and uh, they also came out last week and I decided to watch them <clears throat> uh, in phases. Like I watched the first six episodes then I waited for the last two ones and I watched them together as well. Uh, so if you haven't watched Upload, it's the show about um, a technology that we think or it might happen where even after you die, you can still live, your soul still lives through. So it talks about that technology and the politics behind it and how some people who control it are the evil people and how they use people and stuff like that. So that's very generic overview of what the story is and it follows two main characters one is Robbie Amell Nathan Brown and Andy Allo uh, Nora uh, Anthony <laughs> sorry I forgot her last name um, so it's a story about these two people uh, also there are other characters who are amazing in the show as well but the story is about these two people how they meet through the upload where uh, Nathan is already dead and how he, uh, Nora is kind of his angel and how they meet and how they fall in love and try to fight the system. So that's what the story is for the last few seasons and now we're seeing what happens when he downloads all of a sudden and we think he's gonna die but does he die or not or do they defeat the evil people or not or do they even find out who the evil people are. Because there's a lot of question marks in this show. Now, uh, it's a comedy show with a lot of suspense, fun. It's a very light-hearted show, uh, which I like. Uh, so season 3 is pretty good as well. I enjoyed watching season 3. However, I do feel like it was stretched a little bit too much. Because they're talking about some of the stories within the upload where people are living there and... We're introduced to, to some new characters who are evil and good and how they add to the story. However, I do feel like they're kind of stretching the story a little too much now because now it's time. We know who the evil people are or at least have an idea. So let's bring them in the front and center and focus on defeating them. And it feels like we're going to defeat them soon, but then that's not how season three ends and it threatens season four. Um, I just feel like you're stretching the same story too, too much. And it's kind of like one of those shows where you want to add another season, blah, blah, blah. But do we really need another season or not? They could have really wrapped up the season and ended the show. But they decided they, they don't want to end the show. So unless it gets cancelled, the show will continue in season four. And I will definitely watch it. Only probably I won't watch it. It's just that I just felt like that. There were some things about the show where they could have really put it all together and resolve the issues and give them a happy ending or even a sad ending, but give them an ending to the show. I, I really felt they could have done that in season three and they didn't do it, which is kind of disappointing because I would have loved to see the show end on a good note or, or a decent note. Uh, <coughs> but they threaten season four because we, we see uh, that the evil people are not defeated or anything happens the show continues with them and they become even worse. That's what we see in the last uh, few minutes of the, the season 3, episode 8. Now, I I really enjoy the show. However, uh, I feel like uh, there should be a little bit more focus on Luke. The actor played Luke. Amazing. And they did focus on him a little bit, uh, uh, but I think the story was not as convincing as I wanted it to be. And the other one, Owen Daniels, the AI guy in Upload. I loved all of his 100 characters on the show because he's the AI guy. So same face, but they're doing different things in the Upload. And I, I really wish that they give Luke and Owen's character some interesting storylines and how they come together and move forward in season four. I hope the focus shifts towards them a little bit more because I'm getting tired of watching Nathan and Nora trying to get together and trying to defeat the world. And they have all these other characters who are helping them in a way or not. And the one character played by Ingrid, uh, by Allegra Ingrid, I'm getting tired of her. Uh, she is obsessed with Nathan and her obsession 
goes on a new level in the season three, but it's kind of becoming not interesting. Like I got bored watching her. Like I'm like, either kill her off the show or give her a different arc. They really need to do something with Ingrid's character because her character is just not good anymore. It's kind of frustrating to watch, to be honest with you. The actress is amazing. She does a really good job, but the character is just annoying. And same thing with Nathan and Nora. Like, yes, their relationship is growing and it's, and they're finding challenges and all that. It is interesting, but you need to bring focus to the center of the story and how they can move forward. And that's where I think the show is lacking. Um, and I hope season four is much more of that. And I hope they kind of, either they bring a new arc to the story or they end what they currently have right now. Um, because right now it's becoming redundant. So this review has gotten a little bit longer and I apologize. But uh, did you watch the season three? How did you think about it? Are you enjoying the show? Or do you share the same thoughts that I do? I would love to know. It's available on Prime Video. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's available to you for streaming. So please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And thank you so much for watching.